My biggest fear is that one day I wake up and I've, I've arrived and I'm where I want to be. Mentorship for me has been everything. And I think I realized it at a young age, Aaron, when I realized like I, I'm not the sharpest tool in the shed. I didn't like in terms of school, like I didn't get the best grades. I was always, I always liked to work more efficiently, especially on things I wasn't passionate about uh, growing up with schoolwork. So I learned early on that if I can leverage other people, other people's past, other, their mistakes, their, their, their wins, their losses, you know, the shortest distance between two points is always a straight line. But why would I wander off into a fitness journey or a faith journey or a business journey uh, and step on all these landmines that many great men and women have already stepped on prior to me, you know, getting into that area. So I, I believe in mentorship. I have, a, I have a couple mentors for each area. You know, I have a mentor of mine on the fitness side. Uh, I have a, he's my brother-in-law. I have a mentor and he's awesome. I have a mentor of mine in my spiritual life. I have, I have a great mentor in Ed Milet. Uh, in, the, in my personal life. I have great mentor in, in my business, guys like Rael Michaud, he's mentored me the whole way up. So there's different areas uh, that I, all the areas that I'm pushing hard in, I need to be coached. That one, of my core, one of my core values is, you know, a lifelong student. Learning is never out for the great ones. So I believe wholeheartedly in mentorship. And I would, I would tell you that I would be nowhere where I am today with all the great mentors in my life. If you wanna make a change in an area of your life, you have to get clear on exactly what you want. You know, the reason you're at where you're at, the reason you feel stuck is because we, we all get our expectations, we all get our standard. And if you're not gonna sit down and truly, you know, decide to raise your standard, right, then nothing's gonna change. But the way you decide to raise your standard is you get super clear on what you want. Like, what do you want? And I, and I mean, what do you want more of and what do you want less of? Like, yeah, it's great to be motivated by, I want a nice car and I want to make a hundred grand. And most people want things they've never tasted or touched before. But there's a lot of things, Tony Robbins calls it pain and pleasure. There's a lot of things we have that we don't want anymore. We don't want to be in debt. We don't want to be unhappy. We don't want to feel alone. We don't want to. So for me, it's as, it's as important to run away from the things you don't want early on for me as it is to run towards the things that you do want so you got to get super clear on what you want and then you got to hang around a bunch of people that that are further down that path like if if you want to learn how to play football but all you hang around is hockey players that's not gonna work you never see Eagles hanging out with ducks you either hang out with the ducks or you or you soar with the Eagles so you got to get super clear on what you want you got to hang around the right people all right, and then you got, and then you, you need a plan. You need a plan, and your ability to stick to that plan will decide how high you go.